saw the uh, Al Jazeera documentary. They're very brutal assault, especially on the rave, uh, on, on the festival. They were killing people indiscriminately, and there were civilians. They weren't armed. That's very wrong. But Israel does worse. What did, what did you expect Israel Because they're bombing civilians, you know, not just with bullets, but, you know, like with big bombs. So, you know, like... Big bombs, and what about their rockets? They don't even have explosives. Oh, they don't. Except if they get a, a dud bomb from Israel as a present. What happened to their water filtration system? And this information is not from Israel, by the way. You can go up on the UN site and see that they donated billions of dollars for a water filtration system that was never built. There was something else built there, though, because they found them on October 7th. They found the tunnels. They found the pipes. Yeah, that's financed by Iran, not by Qatar. They found those pipes from rockets in Israel. Y yeah, sometimes they use explosives that so they get from uh, Israeli bombs. I know yeah, now. Yeah, just, but before, you know, until recently, bombs? there was even... How many people, Israelis, you know, were killed by those rockets? Like... One who had a heart attack. That's because they spend their money. Those that they, all the shrapnel that falls from the Iron Dome would be more than just the uh, the mortar that's sent. I spoke to yeshiva for student you, here, who own. had shrapnel from Iron Dome falling on the roof of his yeshiva, and if he would have been on the roof, he would have been killed. But do you agree? So that's that not Hamas, a defense. Hamas came and uh, kidnapped people, killed people from their house at a festival. Yeah, but Israel does the same. In the West Bank. I had a student, an English student in Nablus, who got arrested, put in prison three years for a Facebook commentary. I don't think that's a whole story. No. You know, like a student got killed at the high school, at his high school, so he wrote a comment, you know. If someone comes to invade your country, what do you think Israel should do? Let them be? To do nothing? Precisely what the Palestinians would say. You see? Are you Palestinian? That, uh, no, I'm the, a second generation Holocaust survivor. Okay, me too. Yeah. So You're a third generation. Third generation. My grandmother was a Holocaust survivor. Mm. She was in that very museum. She went through it. She gave her story. She told her testamentation. You know what? She supported the state of Israel. She almost went to live there. Mm. Well, I'm going to go back to Nablus because uh, they needed my help. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Great. Here, I, I, don't, I don't enjoy it here. I don't like the reception I that I get from the Jewish community. Israel. It's disrespectful. disrespectful. We're from the Jewish Bund. The Jewish Bund were there, the ones who stayed there, like my, my uncle who fought as a partisan while the Zionists ran away. Okay? My grandfather fought as a partisan. He's a Zionist. Do you have an explanation for that? Because he, he couldn't get out. He had to. But the Zionist strategy was he not to oppose the Nazis. All they cared about... ...stand with humanity instead of standing with monsters. Yeah. Yeah. But Hamas is not ISIS. It's not the Nazis. Hamas is ISIS. No. You want to go do the comparison? Do you want to see them? One, they quit the mothers. They quit the Muslim Brotherhood. In Qatar, they are sitting there in Qatar. Do you know how much they're worth? Because I do. The three leaders: three point four billion, two point five billion, one point five billion. Yeah. What can they do with all their money? Because they're not using it on their Hey, Andrew. Why you don't come to get the Purim party together? Enjoy it. They won't. They won't let me in. Still, I still have to go through my court. To, after I win my court case and get acquitted, then I can go inside. But why you do this? In because the war is continuing. This is Andrew. Yeah. He's a survivor. You, maybe you know him. Yeah, hi. Where are you from? Hungary. My grandmother was from Hungary. Yeah, Hungary. So you speak Hungarian? Hey, That's hi. Hungary. It's cold out. You know, I, I, hey. I will take this. I will take this, you know, because it's necessary. But I'm, I'm fasting, you know, in solidarity oh, I'm for Ramadan. No, 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 it's necessary, so it's allowed. Yeah. It's so nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too. I'm, I'm talking with them. You know, they don't know much, you know, like, other than what they've been taught in Hebrew school. You know, like, the impression you left me with me was that I was thinking how fortunate the Jewish children are who you take care of. Hey, you don't do the right thing. Believe me. Believe me. Yeah, listen. So how is the war going to be stopped otherwise? How is the war going to be stopped? Let them, let them, let them free. The hostages. 100%. Yeah, but he's not going to stop. Even if they left yeah, the yeah, hostages go. Netanyahu's not no, going to stop the war. I don't want to aggravate myself, but believe me. If they let them do, I guarantee they make it. Netanyahu guarantees that no, they won't no, stop no, the war. No, I guarantee if they let them let them free, hmm. I guarantee funny for all, they have the peace. I guarantee you. And Netanyahu doesn't say that. 
No, because and the, the others Hamas, don't say that. The Hamas is ignorant. They, they are. The cabinet doesn't say that. You know, three, four ministers, they want all the Palestinians to go, Palestinian, either dead or gone. Palestinian, they already pushed on. The Hamas take over everything. You know that, and I know. Anyway, come and join us. Ask them to let me in, <laughs> and then I'll come. If you can't agree that Hamas is a terrorist organization, there's no point. Well, if it is terrorist, so is Israel. Because Israel does worse. Israel even Israel even tortures its prisoners. Israel's hostages are tortured. Who attack civilians? Yeah. Yeah, the, an agent, a military force that attacks civilians is terrorist. You know, the Jewish Bund position was you can only attack officers, soldiers, and informers, deadly informers. That Israel has done that it directly attacks civilians for no reason. All this zero reason. Name me I'll, one. I'll, the thirty-two thousand ones. The two thousand one. Thirty-two thousand who are dead now, civilians. Ones. You think they're Hamas? So you're no, the Hamas is underground. Well, many innocent people are dying. No one's denying that. Since 1948. Good. Give me one example. Oh, we're not dumb. Give me one innocent example. People are dying at war. But if Hamas did not start this war, there would be no war. And if Israel didn't start the war, then Hamas Israel wouldn't have started the war. war. Hamas broke into Israel. Ever hear of 1947 to 48 and 49? Yes, you have heard of the Arab Israel, yes, I heard When they massacred here? and then buried the bodies of in the, in the in the beach for hear? people to, to bathe on? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Did you hear of 2006? When they went and they elected Hamas as their leader? The girl who was who was representing Hamas, she won on the fact that she had seven sons. Seven, six of them had made an attack, a terrorist attack in Israel, and she said she still had more to send. Ah. And that's how she won, by the way. Ah, could be, but in 2017 they changed their charter. That is what you're. That is what you're defending. I can say that too. It doesn't mean anything. I'm Israel Chai. It means long live the Jewish people. It doesn't mean long live the state. That slogan has been alive, you know, for for thousands no of years before no the state of Israel existed. You so it doesn't mean Israel the state. It means Israel the people, by definition, you had no right? Five minutes ago, telling me that the indigenous people of Canada had every right to be here. You had no problem saying that to me, but you have a problem saying the indigenous. No, people no, of I Israel don't. I didn't. Have a problem being no, there. I didn't. No. So you just said and you I can even tell you that the Palestinians welcomed the Jewish refugees from Nazism. They welcomed. Yeah, they, they welcomed. Well, yeah, well, the they were living Canada. together. They killed us. They were told to leave by, by the way, not the Israelis, the other Palestinian states on the night of on the No, night that of was the biggest. For the independence. I went there and war. found out who was, who was that made who that broadcast. Was it? it was the Arabic BBC, oh, okay. because the only radio allowed in the Palestinian towns, not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Do you hear that? There's a genocide going on in Gaza. There's a genocide going on in Gaza, according to the International Court of Justice. Plausible genocide. I'm not listening to Hamas. Who gave you those numbers? Who gave you those Because when I hear it on the radio, I hear 30,000 people that are mostly children and women. Tell me how that works. Tell me how most of the population can be children and women. But who do you think is making up these numbers in defense of Gaza? That's what I'm asking. Nobody is. Like none of these big news organizations are supporting the Palestinian people. So your well, numbers are not are being told out of nowhere. Who are you talking nowhere? about? What news organization? E even you e want to use you want to use Al Jazeera? I'll even quote that's a there. standard. I read Al Jazeera all the time. Even even American President Biden said the number thirty thousand in his speech. No, he didn't. Yeah. He said that was what the palace. That was what the Gaza Health Ministry gave. No, him. he said thirty thousand. Health Ministry has come up. Look, I'll give you a quote. Thirty thousand is too much. And we cannot accept another 30,000. Maybe so he can accept so another 10,000 or 20,000, so but he said he cannot accept another 30,000, quote know, unquote. Israel asked for something very. If you really believe in your humanitarian thing, then you would agree with this. What Israel asked for was the immediate release of their hostages and for Hamas, a terrorist organization, to surrender. After that, they're not going to continue. They have no reason to continue. Yes, they do. The what gas off, off the coast. They, don't they care want the, the coast. 500 billion dollars worth of gas. The coast. They didn't want Are you kidding? The 500 billion dollars waiting there. What about the Ben Gurion Canal? What about it? They, they want to put it right through Gaza. They don't want to. They don't want gas. 
Gaza. They don't care about Gaza. They begged Egypt to take it back when they got it in the first place. They didn't want the Palestinians. They 